So hi everyone, I'm Koji. Today I'm going to show you my uh, GSOG project, GitHub Checks API plugin for Jenkins. And uh, my mentors are Wuli and the team. So first I want to uh, show you our product uh, of this project. So first we uh, released the General Checks API plugin where we provide this to be prepared for similar concept in different platforms like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or uh, some other platforms. And we also provide a uh, implementation for GitHub. It's called GitHub Checks plugin. And after that, you can consume our API uh, to publish checks to GitHub like this. And we have not released both plugins. You can just go to the plugin center and install our plugin and try it. Mm, after release of plugins, we consumed our API in the Warnings plugin. Um, oh, sorry, this should be Warnings Next Generation plugin. And uh, we have uh, we have the following features like the quality gate. There are red X and some green checks here. This in, that indicates the quality gate. And you can see many state issue statistics here, and you can or you can also see many annotations for the new issues. So I show you since our plugin has already be uh, deployed to the set.jenkins.io, so you can just go to any plugin of Jenkins under the organization and and on GitHub, so you can see it. For example, this is a, a rerun request pull request for our plugin, and if you go to the checks. Uh, you can see many uh, an analysis from the tools, yeah, and you can also you can also see them along the code. Okay, so you can there's the CPD worry, and if you take a look at the raw output, uh, those are just parsed from the uh, from the X. XML file from, from those tools or CPD worries. And the next is about the pipeline usage of the warnings plugin. And it's basically uh, the same as the warnings plugin pipeline. And but we added added the feature to skip the publishing checks. I uh, just add this field and set it true. So it, it can help you if you don't want to, uh, the checks, you can just skip those um, checks by adding this field. And here is the document about the Warnings plugins pipeline usage. Uh, you can see more here. And, and up besides the Warnings next generation plugin, we also consume our API in the code coverage API plugin. And in this, uh, usage we show you the coverage trend and the coverage health score and different kinds of coverages and you can also uh, use this feature skip this feature in the pipeline just as the, just the same as the uh, warnings plugin and you just need to add these features here and uh, and you can also uh, say a section in the configuration page and like this and you, so you can uh, just check this box if you want to skip the checks. And you can also uh, directly use the pipeline and to, to publish your customized checks. Um, for example, you just need to add this function in your pipeline script, uh, add the name, conclusion, and summary. Um, and then it will automatically publish this check for you. Um, you may want to use this feature to indicate uh, the stage of your build. Um, for example, if some be, if some stage costs many time much time, uh, you can you can use this feature uh, to help you keep keep up with the uh, what's going on in the build. And the next, we also uh, add the rerun request, um, so the users can just request the rerun for a failed check. Direct, uh, directly on GitHub. And when the check failed on GitHub, it, uh, the GitHub will just automatically add the rerun button here. So after you click it, uh, we, will, we will schedule a build for you. 
And you can see the cost for the build is rerun request by me through the GitHub Checks API. And this is still a feature and this, uh, we haven't merged this pull request. So yeah, because I'm still waiting for some dependencies updates uh, uh, before merging this. So, and then the next part uh, is uh, I'll show you how to consume our API uh, to create the checks. So, because the, uh, you may say uh, this is very complicated code here, um, but that's, that's because uh, there are many, so many options uh, that you can configure for check. Um, for the simplest, for uh, I just show you all the uh, fields here. So, it, it produces much code. But in the simplest uh, usage, you may just need the name, status, um, details, URL. Uh, it's very easy. And at last, you have to uh, create a publisher. You just invoke the static vector method and it will return a suitable publisher for you. If you are using a freestyle project, I will return a publisher for the freestyle project. If you are using a GitHub branch source plugin and GitHub branch source project, uh, or just the GitHub org uh, folder project. Uh, we we'll, we'll also return a publisher for that. And the next part is I show you how to create actions. Um, if you just want to create actions on GitHub, and so when clicked, a request will be sent to GitHub app. Um, in this case, the GitHub app is the Jenkins, and so you just need to and later implement some logic to uh, implement the action and uh, uh, it can just make the Jenkins more uh, convenient for the GitHub users. For example, I just, uh, if I want to add two buttons here, one is format, another one is report, I just need to uh, create the details um, with the actions. So here I just add two actions, a format and a report and it will automatically add those two buttons for you. So later you may want to implement th those actions. And so first you want, uh, when the user click that button, you receive a, a request from, the, from GitHub. And there is a section in the payload, the request action and the field is uh, identifier. So you can, if you want to handle this um, request, you just want, just need to extend the, even a subscriber. Uh, it's provided by the GitHub plugin. You extend it and uh, subscribe to the uh, Chikron event, implement the event handling logic. Uh, you implement those logic in the on event method. Mm, so uh, you, you can just create and you can just implement the actions for the users. If you want to see more examples, you can just go to the uh, GitHub plugin, there are many uh, examples like the push, uh, push event subscriber and pin event subscriber. And you can also see our, our subscriber for the wrong request. That's how we implement here. So in the demo part, uh, first I, since our plugin has already been uh, installed on cell.jenkins.l. So if we go to the plugins folder, and if we some see some plugins build, and we go to the to the GitHub branch. Yes, here. If you go to the check, and you'll see those uh, checks for this pull request. Yeah, it seems a, a very good progress without any issues. And if you go to this, if you click this thing, it will just direct lead you to the to the Blue Ocean view of this view. And the next part I want to show you is the uh, rerun request. So. Good. 
find the page for the rerun. Okay, so uh, here I have a field request, field check. So if I click this rerun button here, uh, GitHub will give you feedback. You have successfully requested the Jenkins rerun. And, and then since I'm using a SME uh, forward delivery, so you can will just uh, deliver the request to our Jen to my Jenkins. And you can see here in the log, it says receive the rerun request through GitHub Checks API. And the next message is, it says it scheduled the rerun for the job and it's requested by me. And th this username is parsed from the uh, request payload. So it's the GitHub user ID. And if you go to, if you go to the Jenkins, so go to this view, you can see the cause uh, is because we run, it is uh, a rerun request by me through the GitHub Checks API. And another part, besides the uh, rerun request, I want to also show you the pipeline support. Uh, this is the um, pipeline generator. So I add these fields here. Um, since some fields, uh, the GitHub supports markdown for some fields, so uh, I use the markdown on syntax here. So I generate a pipeline script and I copy this. So for a quick demo, I just I want to replay, use the replay feature. I'll just copy this, this, this there and I click run. Okay. So, yeah. So if I go to the page for this, yeah, you can see here, still, still queue. Refresh this page. Yeah, it can succeed uh, 30 seconds ago. And you can also click this link here. Yeah, also I'll lead you to the uh, URL because this leads us to the set.jenkins.io because I said the uh, URL here. So, okay. Okay. So that's uh, pretty much from the side. And if any questions, you can just ask and, uh, and all, we also uh, would like to have uh, any suggestions from you. So. Thank you. Uh, if you want to see more details about this project, uh, one week ago there was Jenkins Online Meetup where we were specifically talking about uh, GitHub app identification and Checks API integration. So there is a bit more details there. And yeah, thanks a lot to Keja for the presentation. Again, if you have questions, please use Kone. And meanwhile, maybe Uli or team would like to share some feedback. Yeah, I can <laughs> thank you, first of all, for this wonderful enhancement in Jenkins. And we already have now two plugins that are using this extension. And I hope a lot of different reporting plugins will come again. So for instance, we can pit mutation coverage show then, or we can use the test results published using this approach. I, I'm really looking forward on different plugins implementing this new API. Yeah, thanks, Lee. And maybe one extension, uh, it works not only for uh, GitHub branch sources now, it works also for freestyle builds and for normal pipelines as well. So thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Casey. It's really good. I think, yeah. given that the morning's in G and it's on ca.jigans.io, it's already getting a lot of adoption, probably faster than most GSOC projects in the past. So I think it's a really good achievement. Uh, as one of the grateful users of your 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 contribution to ca.jigans.io, thanks very much, Casey. I've loved what you did with this. It's made my life better. Thank you. Thank you. 
I believe you will keep evolving that, but even uh, the first integration steps uh, they have been a really good advantage. And uh, thanks to the team for also doing their groundwork to integrate static analysis uh, in uh, our default pipelines. I mean, we had uh, find bugs, spot bugs before, but now we have basically all checks available. So something like eight different tools. And we can keep expanding that. Um, I believe in the future we will be able to add more analytics features as a part of the engine. Yeah, one, one more thing. The, the rerun feature seems to be very, very good because currently you can't sometimes rerun builds. You have to push an empty commit. So is that is that a feature that, um, that you need to be an admin or an owner of the repository to be able to trigger a rerun or anyone can trigger a rerun? Yes, unfortunately, we've got to add the ability to do GitOps. We haven't done that yet, or chat ops is what we need. But you're right, Slayton, it's, it's too inconvenient right now on ci.jenkins.io. That's coming. Yeah, for ci Jenkins, I.O., we have a plugin, uh, GitHub uh, comment plugin, uh, which uh, retriggers uh, the build if you have right permissions. Uh, Sounds good. We, we haven't integrated it to ci Jenkins I.O. yet, but if you're interested, you can uh, find this plugin in the uh, plugin uh, installation manager. Okay, got it. Yeah, are we Thanks. sure that we definitely need um, that to re-trigger? I'm not sure exactly what the permission is, but I would expect that if you're the author, you can probably rerun it. Does anyone know? Something we can test or offline with the meeting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure authors can do it, but we'll we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. So uh, as last I just want to say thanks to all my mentors, Wuli and team. I actually received a lot of uh, helps from you and although there's some time gap but I can always receive many in-time in reply and many techniques and uh, uh, the skills you taught me uh, it's a fantastic summer and uh, uh, those uh, skills I can migrate them to some other projects um, maybe just outside Jenkins as well and I, think I want to also thanks to the people from uh, the whole community. This is a fantastic community, uh, very helpful and friendly. And then also thank you to introduce me to the open source world. And just thanks.